to live your best life with calm. If you are new here, I post videos about my teaching journey, health related, hair videos, and lifestyle videos in general. So if you want to see more of that, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you join the family over here. And those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. Today I'm going to talk to you about a really, really, really personal matter. I was actually considering if I should do it, should really open up about myself, about this issue so much, but it's hard, but I'm going to try to do it. Have you ever heard of PCOS? PCOS means polycystic ovarian syndrome. Upon doing my research and interacting with different queens, I realized that this disease or this thing is very common. It is said that one in 10 ladies have this problem. No, I have been suffering in silence like no one knows about it except my immediate family ever since I got my first period like I noticed something was different like it wouldn't stop it's like I always have to go to the doctor about it it reminded me so much like sometimes I'll be at church and they're preaching about the woman with the issue of blood and at the same time I'm having the issue and I'm like God can you do something for me like I don't see the healing, I don't, I don't see it, I'm like, but I didn't let that stop my faith in God anyway, but I just know that, just understand what I'm saying, this is the issue that I've been dealing with, and even as I'm talking now, there are, um, I'm just remembering the numerous times when I've struggled with this so bad, and you would not, under, you wouldn't even understand if you have not been through it. So, I might have to pause this video a little bit and then continue. So as a teen, I always wondered why I look so different. I would have so much acne and on top of that, my cycle was not regular. Everybody else cycle would come for three days, three to three, four, five or the most seven days. And then sometimes when you go to seminar, they say the regular is three to seven days and I'm like, 17 days yeah so that's basically what I have gone through so normally just um, because of this issue it would just come like once every four months and then it's as if it's making up for last time that it did not come it would just continue going 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 so I mean you're gonna make up for those four months when you didn't have any so here is four months worth of bleeding that's not nice so this has been very challenging to deal with and the doctors they would just explain that it's an hormonal imbalance and they would try all kinds of things I would spend thousands of dollars doing um, ultrasounds and tests and no real result as a matter of fact they would say I don't have PCOS it's just an hormonal imbalance and we can't really do anything to help you other than let you take contraceptive birth control pills. As a matter of fact, my gynecologist used to tell me, oh yeah, as soon as you have the first baby, as soon as you have your first child, it, the symptom, this will have automatically go away. Can I tell you, after I had my child, up to when I went back to six week clinic, six weeks after giving birth, that thing was still on me. So doctors recommend the use of birth control, as I said, to normalize the cycle. And to be honest, that is what I'm actually doing now. And I'm gonna tell you the reason. But it's, I'm uncomfortable with it, I don't like it, but that's actually what I'm doing now. So I've tried alternative methods. I've gone herbal. Maybe I wasn't patient enough for what, but I went there, I was taking the stuff. I was like doing my best but when this thing came around and I called I'm suffering I need the help whatever they're telling me to do and just whatever it's not working out I was just continuing to have this issue so 
it was so frightening that I had to go to the doctor. And then here's the story. Listen to the story now. So it was not until about two years ago that I had this frightening discovery. I really had to rush to the doctor. Then I had, and they referred me to the clinic, gynecology clinic, that I was told, frightening discovery, that I had PCOS because all along I know I had the hormonal imbalance but I really didn't know that because doctors have tested me for it before they, they have said I wonder if it's this an extensive ultrasound and all of that and they said no it's not it's not it so it was really frightening so story time <clears throat> buckle your seatbelt to listen up so I got a break from work and I was like, yeah, let's have some rest and relaxation now. You know, get what I had to get out of the way. I had a few errands to do, but you know, I've been working hard, so I say, let me get some rest now. But lo and behold, here she comes. Here comes my period. As usual, but at this time I was practicing to be a vegetarian so I would only eat little little pieces of fish I would just eat fish sometimes so I was mostly eating I was mostly eating fruits and vegetables you know eating healthy my oatmeal and all of that and drinking my green juice and I was really trying yeah I was actually still on the program from that famous doctor yeah, but this thing came and yeah, my breaks are normally three weeks from work and it didn't stop. It continued throughout my entire three week break. I mean, at one point, I was so frustrated. I was so it was it was heavy. It was it was just on me, and some of you would understand. This thing is annoying in itself, much less what I was going through. So, I said, all right. Like, oh, when I was in Jamaica, sometimes I normally just, because I don't like taking the contraceptive, but I know that if it's on me and it's not stopping, if I don't want to go to the doctor right now, I can just say, all right, let me buy the birth control pill over the counter and they'll just give it to you so uh, i went to the pharmacy here and and in my suffering you know um can i can i get a bird control no that's not what i said can i get a contraceptive what what, what is contraceptive what are you saying ma'am and then worse it must have been my accent or whatever <laughs> what are you saying I don't know what that is. Why you teach me so much big words? Why you let me go ask the people about contraceptive? <laughs> yeah, he said he didn't know what it was. So my husband was there with me and he was like, oh, um, he said he don't know what is contraceptive. I don't know what, to, what else to ask him. So it dawned on my husband to say, bird control people. Oh! Yes, but ma'am, you would need to get a prescription from the doctor to get that. What? I have to get a prescription to get it? So there I left disappointed. So we were going back home and I'm suffering. And he was like, so I'm like, it looks like I'm gonna have to go to urgent care. I'm gonna have to go to the doctor. I went to the urgent care and they looked after me and they just wanted to pump me with some hormones. They just wanted to pump me with some progesterone and some stuff. <sighs> like, I don't want to do these things. But at the same time, I'm suffering. But they gave me the prescription and at the same time, they made an appointment for me at the clinic, at the, the hospital to sort this out. And that was like really quick so I ended up 
you know, trying to stick it out and I went to the hospital. So I did a bunch of tests as always. They said, you don't know, you got PCOS. Yeah, you've got, as long as you have two, as long as you have at least two of the qualifying conditions, you've got it. You've got the airy skin, and I can't even show you right now because I'm on this jacket, and you have air under your chin. Mm-hmm. And I purposely did a shave them because I wanted to show you. I So me, I have to be plucking and shaving this thing like so. As long as you have two of the qualifying characteristics, yes, girl, you got PCOS. Okay, okay then. So how can I deal with it? What can I do? But you know what the doctor say. Red control pill. That will balance it out. That will stop you from having ovarian cancer. And that will this and that will that. But it's gonna let me put on weight. And I did put on a lot of weight since I started taking that. Oh no. Um, you just need to control yourself and eat better and blah 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 blah. My life, my life, no easy life. One, two, three. So, this illness air it can cause unexplained weight gain, it can cause depression, mood swings, lack of energy, and it can lead to other serious conditions like insulin resistance. So I mean, this is what I have to live with. This is this is, this is my lot. This is what I was given, and I am over here trying my best to deal with it. But I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna be really honest. It, it's trying. It's challenging. So this has been really really hard to share, but let me know if you have had a similar experience or you know anyone that goes through this. What have they done to um, solve the issue or what are they doing to help themselves and I'm going to research, I'm researching because you know all things are possible with God so I'm still researching there must be a way that I can you know start this out but in the back of my mind, I'm remembering that last experience, which was so terrible. Um, that one was really, really terrible. I think I was going on for a good four or five weeks, really heavy. I was actually so weak and all of that stuff. I just remembered I even had to go back to work the issue remember until I get three weeks off from work I went back to work and I was feeling just and I'm there I'm trying my best doing my job but I was so I will be making more videos about my journey where this is concerned with regards to health and as you can see I have gained weight if you know me I've gained a lot of weight but I am gonna be resilient I'm gonna be persistent I am gonna try my best to deal with this so I'm gonna take you on my journey with me alrighty so come along in spite of this I am determined that I'm gonna live my best life and I'm gonna enjoy every single moment of it and you should too so don't forget to live your best life and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe share Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your best life. Peace out.